Hi all, uh, welcome to the weekly market wrap. Uh, the week had a lot to offer with Fed rate and RBI uh, coming out with its policy. A potential US-China conflict over Taiwan, volatile rupee, oil and some to and to some extent markets. Uh, so the Indian bank benchmark index uh, were range bound for the week and closed in positive as of yesterday. As we speak right now, the market's post RBI announcement is trading in positive. Internationally, uh, Brazilian stock market closed at highest comparatively and Dow Jones closed in red. But overall the market were range bound waiting for central banks to give them directions. Fed hiked its uh, rates by 75 percentage points for second consecutive time to fight inflation and hinted that they, they will slow down the hikes at some point. This was positively reflected in the market performances. Uh, the benchmark overnight borrowing rate is up to a range of 2.25% to 2.5%. The moves in June and July represent the most stringent consecutive actions taken by Fed. RBI today hiked the rates by 50 basis point, which was mostly expected by market, taking the benchmark rate to 5.40 percentage points, reversing the entire cuts that were done during COVID times. The focus now is very clear. Uh, the central banks want the inflation under its comfort zone uh, of around 4.4% uh, plus or minus 2%. The monetary policy is furthermore important to gauge the economic and inflation activities in coming times. As for RBI, the domestic economy has been resilient with all that has been happening around and has kept its uh, growth projection for 22-23 to, uh, uh, to 7.2%. The inflation projections look positive and we can expect the inflation to be under RBI's comfort zone by Q4 of 22 23. Now basically we are in a situation where we are aware what central banks are thinking and what outcomes to expect in near future. This gives a direction to the market and already uh, as already seen currently markets around the world are in range bound phase with a slight positive uptick. Having said that there is a lot of uncert uncertainty uh, that market faces with oil prices, geopolitical tensions and supply chain bottlenecks. But we can still share uh, the fact that we have some certainty coming from central banks. Uh, I had mentioned last time and I continue to believe that RBI will be at the forefront to efficiently manage the yield curve by taking proactive steps uh, to battle uncertainty and making sure there is room for long-term growth of the economy. We expect 10-year GSEC to be in the range of 7.25 to 7.5%. Uh, we recommend investing in medium-term in, uh, instruments with a buy and hold strategy. A bond, if held till maturity, does not get affected by any market movement whatsoever. Uh, we'll end with a reminder that to have a productive long-term investment journey, there is no alternative to having a right asset allocation. And it becomes even more important to have right asset allocation strategy as per one's risk appetite in times like this. Thank you.